guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you a review of the new Meat Matchmaker eyeshadow palette from The Bomb. I'm going to be sharing a review and tutorial of this eye look. I also have a second palette. I am going to be giving away this palette in this video. The Bomb sent me two, one for a giveaway, so that will be coming up later in this video. But if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts about this palette, seeing swatches, and how I created this eye look, then just keep on watching. All right, so it is raining super, super loudly behind me. So hopefully you guys can't hear it. It's also making my lighting like super gray. It makes my makeup look a lot more grungy in my viewfinder than it does in person. So hopefully I can fix that up. So it's kind of throwing me off a little bit because it's super, super loud from the rain. But anyways, getting into this palette, this is a $29.50 palette. This is available on the Bomb website. It has 12 shadows, it has six mattes, and six shimmer shades. So they're paired together. The matte always has like really cute um, and creative names for their eyeshadow palettes, their eyeshadow shades. And each of the shades in here, they're like coupled off with a matte and a shimmer shade. So it's like Matte Limos and Pat Demos. Um, all the other ones have like more complicated last names. So I'm just gonna refer to these eyeshadows like on a first name basis. But you guys get the drill. They're all kind of duos and then there's six of them. And this does look like a small palette. When I opened this, I was kind of concerned because it is a little bit smaller compared to other eyeshadow palettes. And in this palette, you get point 34 ounce of product total and I wanted to compare it to another palette so you guys can get like an idea of how much product you're getting so compared to my tartlet toasted palette that you guys know I'm loving all the time I always have it like right in front of me in this palette you get 0.64 ounces of product and I believe this is $46 so you're getting a little bit less than double the eyeshadow in here for about $17 more so roughly these end up being around the same price per ounce this is about three dollars more compared to this one if it was like the same amount of product as this if that makes sense so you are getting like a good amount of product for the price point in this palette and then you also get a full-size mirror with this eyeshadow palette so it's super compact it's very very thin it's very easy to travel with or even just put in like a small makeup bag because it is a pretty small palette but you do get like every shade you need for like go to neutral looks but you also get a lot of jewel tones too so I really like that because it's not just like a standard neutral eyeshadow palette you do get these colorful shades on the bottom and then a lot more neutral shades on top and I was really excited for this palette to release because the last release I think this was the last eyeshadow palette from the bomb the nude beach this is super underrated it's one of my favorite neutral palettes and I do find that the formula is very very similar in this palette and what I find with the bomb shadows if you guys are aren't familiar with them they are like more natural more like wearable for daytime um, shadows they are easy to blend out but you're not gonna get super intense pigmentation like some other eyeshadow palettes that are really trendy right now so that's definitely something to keep in mind depending on your eyeshadow preferences if you like more wearable daytime looks if you like something like super super bold super shimmery you're probably not going to get that from this palette but I do find that all the shades blend out beautifully they go on really pigmented and you can get a really nice look with this palette without having to like build it up or like really really take your time with the eyeshadow shades so I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch all the shades and then get into the tutorial and I'll let you guys know when I swatch especially the matte shades they're not gonna look like super pigmented or stand out really but when I do apply them on my eyes I don't have any issues with them they don't skip they don't look patchy they apply really easily so I'm gonna start off with this peachy tone and on me this is a color I can set my eye with it's more um, it's not like an eggshell color like in a lot of other palettes. It's more like skin tone for me. On some people, it's probably not going to be an eyeshadow that you can set your eye look with. And then along with that shade is this shimmer shade. So this is matte and pat. This is a coppery tone. And all the shimmers, they apply really, really pigmented. And they're really pretty because they're not chunky at all. All of the shimmers are like the same formula. And then next we have this duo, this like pinky tone duo. And this is a shade I applied in my crease today. And then along with that is the shade Kate. So all of the matte shades, they're all called matte and then they have a last name. Some of them are a little bit complicated. And then all of the 
shimmer shades all have female names. So this is a shade Kate, and this is like a really pretty rosy tone. It's a little bit in my inner corner today. And then my favorite matte in this palette is this like camel brown color. And this shade applies super nicely, and it goes with like every color in this whole palette. And then along with that, we have this really pretty copper penny color. It's super pigmented. All the shimmers are like super consistent in this palette, which I like, especially all the colorful shades because sometimes that can be a little bit tricky. And then moving on to the next two shades, Matt Campbell. This is a really deep cool tone brown color. And then along with that, we have Lisa Campbell. That is what's all over my eyes today. Next, we have more of a neutral dark brown shade. And then the shade along with that is kind of like this olive -y tone. That's really pretty. It has more of like a little bit of a gold hint in there too. And then we have this matte black color, which is just like a standard black shade. And then lastly, we have this turquoise deep shade, which is super, super pretty. That's like a really pretty color for the lid too. I always love like greenish tones like that. So here are all the shades in this palette. You do get some good variety between cool tones and warm tones. So it's not just like a straight neutral palette. You do get some color in there too. And I did tell you guys that the matte shades, they do apply or they do swatch a little bit patchier, but when you apply them on the eyes, you're not gonna have that issue, especially with like these darker shades. They do look a little streaky, but I don't have any issue applying them on my eyes. And I was able to use I think I use like half the palette for this eye look, but I've used all the other shades just to do some different looks and I always get like really consistent results. So I'm going to go ahead into the tutorial so you guys can see how I created this eye look with this palette. It's pretty simple and then I'll finish up with all my thoughts about this palette. So I'm going to start off with the lightest shade in the palette. This is Matte Limos and this is like a peachy light color. It's not light enough to be like a brow bone highlight. So I'm not gonna carry it all the way up, but I'm just gonna carry it up to my crease. And then for my transition shade, I'm gonna use a couple of the different matte shades in here. I'm gonna start off with this matte brown shade. I'm just gonna apply that with a Sigma E40. I'm gonna kinda carry that up a little bit high. I do want like a warmer crease. This has almost like an olive-y hit to it. So I'm also going to add in another matte shade just to warm it up a bit. And I would probably use this shade with most looks with this palette as like a first transition shade. It's a pretty neutral color. So I'm just going to use a more precise crease brush and then I'm going to go in with this like rosy toned shade. It's more of like a plummy color. And I'm going to apply that more precisely in my crease. I'm going to actually do a purple eye look. And there isn't like a matte purple, but this one actually has enough purple in it. So when I put the purple shade, the shimmer shade on my lid, it all like transitions really nicely. So I'm just going to blend those two shades together, especially like in the inner third of my eye to make sure... They just transition into each other nicely. So I'm going to end up using the lid color with a wet brush, but I'm going to show you guys what it looks like dry first so you can see like the pigmentation on its own. I'm using this purple shade Lisa Campbell with a flat shader brush. So this is how it applies with a dry brush. And then if you don't want to wet the shadow, you can definitely just go in with your finger and it's going to be... A bit more pigmented so that is how the shadow applies dry it's still pretty pigmented but I want like a really metallic finish so I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on the other eye and then I'll go back to the first eye and just apply a little bit more shadow so it looks really metallic so there's definitely a little bit more of a pop with the wet shadow and then I'm gonna do a lot of blending into my crease because right now it's just like completely all over the place but I will fix that up in a second. Just really like this shade. And then once I do blend all the shades together in my crease, like I like that transition from like an orangey tone to the purple tone a lot. So I'm just taking a little bit of that first shade and I'm gonna apply that in my inner corner just cause I did drag my purple shade a little too far down, but I'm also gonna apply another shade into my inner corner just to highlight. And I'm just taking my crease brush without any more of the matte color just to blend out this edge. So I'm just adding the tiniest bit. 
like a little dot of that warm brown, that first transition shade. Then I'm just adding a tiny bit more of that plummy shade with a more precise crease brush. And I just basically go back and forth with the um, plum shade and the brown shade, just depending on whether you want a more warm crease or like a purpley tone crease. All right, so I just added a dark purple liner to my lower lash line and I don't want it to be like super dark like this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take those two matte shades, mostly the brown. Let me start off with the brown shade just to lighten it up a little bit and add some depth to my lower lash line. I'm going to focus this shimmer shade on my inner corner. I like a shimmer in the inner corner, that way it doesn't close off my eye. So last I'm going to add just a tiny bit of this pink shimmer shade in my inner corner. Alright, so that is it for the eyeshadow. I'm going to go ahead and add mascara and my favorite lashes, the Coco Lashes in Misha and then finish up with my review. All right, so this is the completed look with liner and lashes, and I actually used this eyeliner from the bomb that they sent over that was actually really, really simple to use. It took me a minute to figure out compared to my other eyeliners, but once you actually do a wing, it's like super simple, and it's been foolproof. I've tried it out over the past couple days when I've been testing out this palette. So all of these shades in here are really, really consistent. That's what I really like, that there's no like shade that's off from the other shades. So the formula is really consistent with both the matte and the shimmer shades. Like I said, if you want something that's like super blinding for metallic shadows, you're not gonna find that in here, but still all of these shimmer shades show up really nicely on the eyes. And then if you want more of like a foiled look, you can definitely just wet the shadow, but on its own, it's still really pigmented. And I do find all the matte shades to be really consistent and blend out really easily too. So it's just a very consistent palette with the formula. It's a really great palette for like everyday looks, but you also get some color in here to play with as well. So it's not just like a very standard neutral palette. You get some variation in this palette, which I do appreciate, but it's a great palette if you like more natural looks, but you also want some color in there too. And I don't find that there's any shades missing from this palette, especially with the matte shadows. Sometimes I find that mattes, especially with smaller palettes like this, like I'm missing a transition shade of a certain tone, but you do get a couple different transition shades. You get a couple different darker tones, and then you also get a lighter shade. This probably won't work for everybody for like a brow bone or to set your eye, depending on your complexion, but there's nothing really that I would replace from this palette. So overall, the formula is really consistent. If you like more neutral, like everyday looks, but you also want a little bit of color with the palette, then definitely check out this palette. And I am doing a giveaway. I almost forgot. I'm doing a giveaway with this palette as well. So if you guys want to enter to win this palette, I will have a giveaway link in my description box. It's going to be super, super simple. All you need to do is make sure you're subscribed to this channel and then just follow the directions in the giveaway generator. So that will be the first link in my description box will be the giveaway link. And then all the giveaway rules, like the date and everything, that will be in my description box as well. So all that information will be in there and make sure you're checking that out in case you guys have any questions. So you'll be able to win this palette. Just make sure you're checking out my description box for details and I'll also list the rest of the makeup that I'm wearing today in my description box as well. All right guys, so that is everything for today's video. Of course, the rainstorm is like ending as soon as I'm ending this video and like the color is back to my face compared to the cloudiness from before, but of course that's the way it works. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you guys have tried out different palettes from the bomb. Let me know your favorite palette from the bomb if you do have like a lot of different palettes from them in the comments down below. Make sure you're checking out my description box for this giveaway. And if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, especially if you want to win this palette. And I'll talk to you guys soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,